Hello there, welcome back to the Swindon Lot with me, Dr Benji. So we're not going to give any highlights, I'll show you the results, but you know, I want to get into a game. We've got a European home game, people. Uh, I believe it's our first one, I'm pretty sure it is our first one, in fact, yes it is our first one. We lost Galatasaray. In fact, let's do the results first, why not, let's get through it. So the last time we met was the Aston Villa match, uh, it was a 1-1 draw, you might recall it. It was... You know, it was bang bang, wasn't it? It was happy, sad, happy, sad. It was, it wasn't great, but it wasn't disappointing. Uh, well, no, it was disappointing because we drew with Aston Villa. Uh, the next game, though, we won against Leicester. It was on the TV, and they scored a very late goal to put us under a bit of pressure. But Wayne Rooney, and I uh, tell you what, this guy here, Fakir, has been absolutely disgustingly good for me. Now he's just picked up Player of the Month as well. He's on fire in a box-to-box with field role. But I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, then we went to Nottingham Forest, a three-two win. You can see there, Rooney getting a couple of Fakir again. Not a natural goal scorer. Uh, Henry Lansbury got sent off in that game. They were they were decent, like up until. The last stages where we finally got a winner. Um, you, you, they were at that point where I thought, oh no, oh no, and then we just managed to grab one. Now, having a guy like Rooney, by the way, is crazy because you, you feel like you're completely out of a game and then he just scores and it feels like it's out of nothing. It's really strange because like the team were on top, the other team, and then all of a sudden you just score uh, and it's just uh, a nice warm feeling inside. Anyway, the Swansea game, uh, Capital One Cup, we won a cup game. People, I can't believe it. Uh, Kaska, by the way, has been doing excellent for us. We've been playing him and on gender. Uh, I think actually, no, that was just a, that was a rotation for Rooney. But Kaska's been playing instead of on gender, um, and and doing really well. It's it's good to see him finally actually produce some good form because his his attributes suggest he's going to be brilliant. Um, but last season, if we look at his stats, four goals in sixteen, maybe didn't give him enough of a run in the side. Um, but he's recently he's, he seems to be coming good. Um, so I'm pleased with that. And then finally, uh, just recently, a win against Hull. Uh, Fakir again on the score sheet, Kaska getting one as well, and things are looking pretty good for us. Uh, if we look at the squad as an overall, the average ratings, Kaska is up there, and um, he's only played four times, two substitute appearances, two starts. And um, as I say, Fakir, a 7.86, uh, scoring goals for fun, loving it. Uh, goal scores overall, Rooney's got four uh, from the six. These are in all competitions and on the assists chance, Gertz, uh, as you'd expect, up there once again. Uh, so onto the tactic then. Things aren't changing too much um, with this game up and coming. I nearly fell off my chair then. That was ridiculous. I can't. I don't know how, but I nearly did. Um, so the team we're going with, we're going Cresswell, uh, Velojo, Papadopoulos, Contreras, uh, Wellington as an anchor man. I'm really enjoying having an anchor man. I've not used one this year on Football Manager, and I love that he just sits and patrols, and it's something I'm going to use in other saves as well because it just feels really secure when you've got one there. Uh, Kopic, who I don't really talk about that often, um, but is really, really good. He's a Serbian international. Uh, he's, well, I say that he's only played one game, but he plays in my midfield as an advanced player, well, as a, a kind of a playmaker kind of role, um, and does magnificent things. Like nineteen passing, Whew, love it. Um, and on the other side, for Kier, who's not naturally a box-to-box -box midfielder, uh, as you can see, he's more of a playmaker, but he's got great stamina, uh, good pace, good acceleration. He gets up and down, dribbling first touch, very good. So really, really suits that role. And he's on the left side where he prefers it. And obviously, Rooney gets it. And Kaska, uh, Anshenda's not been in as hot form. As last year, but I tell you what, he's not a bad person to have on your bench. So we'll leave him there for now. Anyway, into the game. Uh, we're playing Rapid Vienne, I believe. And after our first uh, loss against Galatasaray, which is only 1 0 away at Galatasaray, which isn't too bad, I guess, for our first ever European game. Um, so yeah, I'm just having a little look. They look like they're going to be. I don't know. I don't want to say they're soft in the middle, but hopefully we can, uh, we can beat them in that area. So yeah, our next episode I will bring some highlights from a few matches. I think that's probably fair. Uh, but I just want to sort of plow on with the season and uh, yeah, rapid Vienne in the Europa League. I just, I'm, do you know what's the most pleasing thing about this is although we lost our Europa League game against Galatasaray, our league form hasn't really suffered, um, which is really nice. I've just realised they didn't even show you where we were in the league, um, so I'll have to show you that at the end. Now here we go. Can we get our first ever European win? It's kind of crazy that we're having our first ever like European game. And Wayne Rooney is up there, <laughs> like leading the line. Um, it's <laughs> that's so stupid. Gertz from behind him. Oh, none of it makes sense. But it's happening. And you seem very kind of. I, I read all the comments of the last video for the transfers, and you all seem very excited at the prospect of some of the players. Um, it was really interesting to hear your thoughts on who you think the best and worst transfers will be. Like, not that I am going to try and influence it, but I am worried about Daniel Sturridge. I'm not sure how much he's going to play for me. And Casca. Continuing his good form, it's good because I've just mentioned how he's kind of playing well, um, and now he's got himself a goal. I haven't got the replays on, but we all saw the goal. We know it happened. It's official. Uh, Fakir Kopic Kaska again. He is on fire, 
and it's really pleasing to see because when I brought him in, I honestly thought he'd have an instant impact. He was like, a, for me, he was the big signing of our first couple of years in the Premier League, and just didn't really. I don't know. I just figured with someone like Mario Gertz behind him, he would really flourish, and he didn't. And it was strange. And I was there was a moment in the summer I thought, am I going to have to sell this guy? Like, am I going to have to try and bring in another top striker? Um, but this season, he's got his act together. I think being around players like Rooney and Gertz and a couple of others that will really improve his game. Um, like, it's not like he's got Mason behind him. He's got like some top quality additions behind him, which is really nice. Anyway, two nil. Uh, in these early stages, and you've got to be pleased with it. We're still playing counter structured, and I think having the anchor man when you play in that formation is really well suited. Just watch the positioning of Wellerton, even when we're without the ball. Uh, we are kind of on the attack here, but I love how he just sits. He allows the freedom of the fullbacks to push on. You look at our fullbacks quite pushed up, and Casco's got a 23 minute hat trick. This could be his year. Um, it is Europe, though, against a team that aren't, aren't the strongest in Europe, but it's still. The Europa League. Uh, Gertz is struggling with a bit of fitness. And as we're 3-0 up, I may change it up at half-time. Kask is also struggling. They're both struggling a little bit. I thought I think they were right pre-game. Um, do you know what I think we're going to do? I think we'll make a double change. We'll bring on Fabregas. <laughs> we'll bring on Fabregas and on gender. Uh, a first-half hat-trick for Kaska. And I've not done a team talk. But we'll make a change. Um, they're not bad replacements, are they? Fabregas and on gender, let's face it. Hopefully they continue to do the same job that the other two are doing. But it starts out with Rapid Vienne on the march. So if we could stop this. Ooh, that, that gives you a little bit of nervy times. I don't know why they have these assistants. Like, I forgot about them. I've not seen them at all this year. And I thought, oh no, I must have done. I must have done. I've been in the Europa League before. But you forget about them. And then they pop up and you're like, oh yeah, you, you lot are here again. It's kind of weird. Look at him just on the pitch. Get out of the way, you fool. Anyway, they are... Oh, they're expressing some sort of attacking verve here, and I don't like it. <clears throat> so much so that my voice is going. And that's 3-2. Maybe we should have kept Casca on. <laughs> um, we'll go back to the, the counter style, then, for these latter stages. But if we mess this up... Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't do this. Not in a life. Okay, Rooney. That's what he's there for. Oh, play him through. On gender. Seal the deal, my friend. Seal the deal. Ah, oh, he's French. So seal the deal. Oh, well. Uh, Kofik with the corner. We've got a lot of men in the middle making a lot of movement. Can he find one of them? No. Front post and cleared. Kofik. Is he going to try and get it back in? He takes on his man. <sighs> well, obviously we say we're not so defensively solid with our anchor man, but it's the way he just kind of sits and moves. Um, oh, that's not even him. 14. What am I on about? On gender. Oh, and it's cleared. Not long to go in this one. And this is a big game. It's nice to get a sort of a footing in Europe. Uh, to, to be 3 0 up at home. Uh, our first ever European game at the county ground. Oh, that's that's a sending off, surely. On gender's forced him into it. And a name which I'm not even going to try to pronounce. It was like, it's like Son Litnia. Something like that. Uh, he's going to be removed. See you later, Mario. He's called Mario as well. What a pity. Uh, not long to go in this one, then. This highlight has gone on forever, and nothing's happened apart from a red card. So, I'm now having to wait for him to walk off. I love this. <laughs> Gothic. Is he going to shoot from there? Surely not. That looks like an angle which he is still pretty confident from, and the ball is having a mano. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, oh it doesn't know what it's doing. I don't know if it's coming or going. Um... Right, that looks like it's going to be game. That looks like it's going to be game, even. Cresswell into... Oh, Rooney. Oh, I thought we were going to seal it with a Wayne Rooney goal. 3-2 at the county ground. Uh, SK Rapid Vienne have fallen to the wayside. And we get our first points in Europe. Uh, I did mention I was going to show you where we are in the league table. Because, stupidly, I failed to show you at the very beginning. So if you look at competitions, uh, we can see fourth place, people. Uh, level with Watford, Norwich and Chelsea. Manchester United currently unbeaten, as are Liverpool. But we're in there. 13 points. Uh, we've got a squad capable of getting in this kind of that fourth to seventh region. Uh, so I think that's what we're aiming for this year. In Europe, we are, well, it's a, okay, well, Galatasaray have just lost, which is very surprising. So maybe St. Etienne are the team. Uh, we've got Stoke in the fourth round, and obviously we've not entered the FA Cup yet. So if you've enjoyed today's video, please leave a like if you want to see more. Subscribe to the channel. And from me, Dr. Benji, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.